Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV, and today we're going to do a run and gun with what I would consider HK's worst product. That's going to be the UMP45. Full disclosure, this is actually a USC conversion brought up to UMP specs, fully 922R compliant and all that. Um, but anyways, the reason I would consider the UMP45 HK's worst product is I've actually shot the post samples quite a lot, the full auto guns. They're absolutely uncontrollable on full auto. They don't have the smoothness that even the MP510s do. Um, and they, they just lack a certain je ne sais quoi that is present in the MP5 series. That being said, the controls are actually very nice and intuitive. It's got an MP5 style charging handle with an AR-15 style ping pong paddle release. Um, you can also lock it up in the upward position. It's got a paddle magazine release like an MP5, so MP5 users can transition over. Then you can do the HK slap to release the, uh, the bolt if you'd like. And then the safety is very nice, very accessible like an M16 AR-15. I also like how the flash suppressor attaches with a pretty cool flange system, actually. Um, this carries over with the suppressors made by B&T and so on and so forth. So, Some more negatives about the gun. The magazines are huge, and they hold 25 rounds, which is five rounds less than a Thompson, which was designed in the, the 19-teens. Um, a positive, however, is when you throw them on the scale, a Scorpion Evo actually weighs 5 pounds, 11.7 ounces, which is heavier than it should be, actually. And then if you weigh an MP5K... PDW, mind you, it's 5 pounds, 12.4 ounces, so just a little heavier than the Scorpion Evo. But then when you throw a UMP 45 on the scale, 5 pounds, 8.8 .8 ounces, so super light, but let's see how it goes on the running gun course. All right, guys, here we go with the USC to UMP conversion. Um, gotta say, this probably is not my favorite HK product or my favorite pistol caliber or carbine, but uh, let's see how it does on the running gun course. All right, guys, don't know how I feel about this gun again, but uh, let's talk about that a little bit. All right, guys, so the UMP is not my favorite HK product. The trigger leaves a little bit to be desired. The sights are okay. They're not the diopters that are on the MP5, but if you watch the MP5 running gun we've done, it was a lot better just because it's a, it's a better gun. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, there's a reason that the MP5 is still in production. This was kind of slated to replace the MP5, but it hasn't. It, it doesn't even sell as many units as the MP5. Um, one thing I really do like is it's got the... The bolt catch, which actually really helped with reloads, if you notice, versus the MP5, where you've got to actively pull it back, slap in a mag, and then slap it back down, in theory. But, um, you know, the ergos are quite nice. It's, it's a well-put-together gun. It's just not an MP5, I guess would be my criticism. And if you've shot both, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. So let's go back to the room and talk about it a little more. Okay, so that didn't actually go that well. 25 hits, 5 misses is one of the worst runs I've ever actually had doing this. And I really want to blame the gun. You guys have seen my running guns with the MP5 where I got 30 out of 30 and the Thompson where I believe I got 26 out of 30. This should have performed better than a Thompson. There's really no excuse. Um, I'm admittedly familiar with the Thompson and this about the same. But anyways, thanks for watching TMP TV. Draw your own conclusions and we hope to see you next time. Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV again. If you liked that video, why not do us a favor and check out our sponsor Ventura Munitions. They really are a great company, and without them, videos like this one would not be possible. Click the link in the description, best place to buy ammo online.